Next question is from one Koner. Are spinal flexion exercises like crunches dangerous for your back? God, I hate, I, it annoys the shit out of me when I hear people, especially fitness professionals, and even worse, doctors and specialists who say things like, this exercise is dangerous, don't do it. Right. And the latest one that annoys the shit out of me is this whole like, don't ever do exercises that flex the spine. Crazy. Huh? Yeah. Does your spine flex and extend? It does. It, it actually does. Guess what happens if you never strengthen those movements? You lose them. Yeah. Yep. Then you end up in a situation where you're you more vulnerable. You accidentally flex your spine because you're in living your life and you end up injuring yourself. I really wish that they would say that, you know, for like when they gave that advice, it would be like, you know, for liability reasons, I have to tell you this. And then they went in to explain like in more depth because I know that's the reason why this is like you. I don't think a, a doc. Oh, at least I hope a doctor is is not that stupid that there's not benefits in strengthening that movement, right? Like even if you, even if you just went into basic medicine, like you and you you know enough about the body to know that that strengthening that would be of value. Yeah. So, the problem is with the spine. Here's the issue with the spine, right? Like like all joints. Now the spine is made up of of many 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 moving parts and joints, and the problem is when you allow it to move to its end range of motion, meaning. The joint can no longer flex. It can no longer flex. And what's stopping it is its own, the joint itself. And then you add load, and then what's supporting the load isn't your muscle, but rather the end range motion of the joint. Now you cause problems because now what's holding that weight or whatever are your discs, mm -hmm. is the spine itself. Yeah, it's but in, a, in an exercise like a crunch on the floor, it's like there's very, very what little. What are no. you talking about? Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. there's well, nothing. What's the alternative? There's, yeah. there, there's nothing going on there that's that's bad. If you're doing yeah. them properly, look, and I did a this post on this. This is the stupidest one I've heard because I've definitely heard deadlifts, and I've actually gotten my brother-in-law was like, oh, my doctor told me not no, to do deadlifts. No, I've heard this where they say uh, every exercise for your core needs to be in neutral spine because that's what you need to strengthen. Oh, you've heard that? Someone I said, have heard that wow. before. Uh, which is insane. So, well, we, I, so we move robotically. I mean, forever. I understand like a, a full setup maybe for somebody who has just came out of like back surgery or some issue and they're extremely- Oh, there's, there's exceptions, of course. If right. you have like a fused spine, you got to be right. careful with how you move. Or right. Whatever. But I mean, even that person though, uh, a crunch, I mean, your, your, your back is supported by the ground. And when you crunch, you're only rolling the spine yeah. up a yeah. tiny bit. So how you, do you get up off the ground? How yeah. do you get up out of bed? Any, you know? ex any movement that you can do with full control, full stability, good good strength, good mobility is safe. Any movement that is outside of that is dangerous. And it doesn't matter what the movement is. It doesn't matter if we're comparing a dumbbell curl to an Olympic clean to very different exercises in terms of, of technique. If the dumbbell curl cannot be done with control, stability, strength, and proper mobility, it's dangerous, even though it's a very simple exercise. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you definitely don't want, and with any movement, you don't want, a, you don't want your joints to support the movement. What I mean by that is to give you an easier example, because the spine is maybe a little more difficult. If you look at my elbow, right? At some point, my elbow can't extend anymore. And that's not because my muscles won't allow it. My bicep would allow more extension, but it's the actual elbow joint itself. This is it. That's as far as my elbow goes. Now, if I held a heavy weight in this position and I allowed my elbow to hold it rather than tensing my bicep and holding it yeah, with my so muscle. You're relaxing. Yeah, so my joint is holding it. That's going to cause joint damage. If you do that with your spine, the same thing. So even rounding your back is okay so long as it's not the spine itself that's supporting you. It's the muscles around that's and you're why not we in your have muscles. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> why we have muscles. Yeah. So